is Teacher Cheryl here with Little Arm Pierce County, a program powered by Green Trike and brought to you through the generosity of our sponsors and our partners to whom we say thank you. Friends, today's story, The Flashlight by Lizzie Boyd, has no words in it and it is going to be way more fun for you to be listening to this story if there's someone else in the room with you because the way that we engage with a wordless story is to um, ask some questions and think about things and so if you have someone in the room with you then you guys can talk about this stuff what is he doing what is that triangle that he's in have you ever been camping in the woods? Or maybe this is his backyard. And there's his flashlight and he's reading a book. And then he decides to go out for a little walk in the dark. Ah, look what he's found. And his other yellow boot, scared. I see one, two, three bats. Oh, and there's so many other things happening in the woods that he can't see as well. Like the things he's shining his flashlight on. So here are the bats again, but he's looking now at some little mice and some plants. Oh, look at that bright green, making things look kind of silvery. Oh, hoo -hoo. <laughs> hoo -hoo. oh my goodness, what else is he finding as he wanders in the woods? Two little skunks. Mm. Some water. There's a stream there. What else do you see? Oh, do you see a raccoon back there in the dark? Oh, that's what he found was a beaver building its dam. That's where it lives. Now walking along the stream. Oh, look who's following him. Hello, porcupine. Up in the tree. And hello to fish. <laughs> What else are you seeing all around? Not just what you can see in your flashlight. The fox and the mushrooms. There's this guy hiding back here again. And the owl still watching. There's a sleeping platform with some flags on it. Oh, and there's that, there's that raccoon taking a peek at him again. All sorts of bitten apples down here from the apple tree. Hello, dear. He's going to have a snack now, too, from he found the apples there. Uh-oh! Sometimes in the dark, you don't see everything you need to see. And he tripped over a rock, and there goes the flashlight. Right down here. Mm. Oh, 
all these animals are so curious, aren't they? <laughs> There's that raccoon. He was so curious, and now he picked up that flashlight. And he's shining it. <laughs> Oh, and he handed it to the beaver. Now everybody's looking at him instead of him looking at them. And the skunk. <laughs> and he's smiling. This is a fun game. He's playing with the animals. Ah, the deer are looking at his boots. That was the first thing we saw, wasn't it? Was his yellow boots. And now the hand showing it. Oh, and now the owl up in the air is looking at everybody, all the animal friends and the kid. Mm -hmm. He can settle down again with his book and his flashlight. And well, friends, today's project has a flashlight. So the first thing you want to do is make a flashlight. And this is just a piece of paper that's cut like this and out like that. And then I colored it like the handle in this story. But this is the shape of paper. And then white paper up here, like the light of the flashlight. And then you're going to take a baggie, a big baggie, and put a white piece of paper inside and draw with a permanent marker, like a Sharpie, on your baggie. I drew a little flower garden. And the next step then is to color it in. So to put it over and take your permanent marker and color in whatever picture you drew. So those are the next steps and then we'll show you what happens after that. All right, so then once you're done coloring your picture, then you're gonna take the right piece of paper out that was just there so that you could see the coloring that you were doing more easily. And you're going to put a piece of black paper inside of your bag and close it up on the side. And then take your scissors and cut the bottom of your bag. So because you need a place for your flashlight to go in. And the reason that you're using um, permanent markers is because regular markers will not stick to the plastic very well, and then you'll just have it rubbing off all over your hands. So you wanna use permanent markers for that. Now, the next thing I need to do is turn all the lights off. And do you know that when it's dark out. The parts of our eyes that see color, called the rods and the cones, those parts don't work very well, as well. They are not made to see in the dark as much as in the light. So that's why we don't see colors very brightly at night. And that's why a flashlight will help us to see colors. All right, so one minute, I'm gonna turn off the lights in this room. And then I'll show you my nighttime picture and we'll shine the flashlight in it and see what happens. One minute. Okay, so now it's dark in here. And you see how the colors aren't as bright now? My um, yellow dress is still kind of bright, 
but the rest of the colors have gotten much more dim. And here's my picture that I drew. And you can see that it's all nighttime. So now I'm going to take my flashlight and I'm going to stick it in there. I think I need to put my like this and we'll see what the flashlight shows us. Hello, star and flower, roots down below. There's another flower, another star. My flashlight is lighting it all up. Whoa, hello, snail and worm. Down there. And there's another star. Oh, there's the moon. Friends, I hope you have fun making this flashlight and then lighting up your pictures. And I would love to see them if you wanted to send a picture of what you've done to my email. And that will be um, put on the screen. But I hope you have fun making this. I did. I sure did. Bye-bye.